Hey guys, so in today's video, we're actually just going to be doing a bit of a room tour. Now, some people like these sort of videos, some people don't. Me personally, I find it oddly satisfying seeing how other people's rooms look. I also get little creative ideas on how I personally would like to set up my room any different. So we're going to be looking at my room layout for 2021. Now, I don't know if much has changed since my last room layout or if I've upgraded any things. I'm pretty sure I've definitely upgraded in my gaming setup here behind me. So we'll be able to look at that closely. And then we'll also be doing live feedings as we go through all my fish tanks. So that will be quite interesting for people who like to see fish eating. So that's what the majority of this video will be. And then at the end of the video, I have a bit of an announcement to make for all my viewers. So if you guys are interested to hear what that is about, make sure you stay around to the end of this video. Let's get stuck into this room tour. All right, so this is obviously the entrance to my bedroom here. This is just my bedroom door, just has my bag on it and just a hook for any miscellaneous objects that I might need to hang out. On the wall here, we just have the aircon remote and just my car keys. Now, if we pan the room from this angle, you will see you walk right into my bed and then my bedside table. Now, the reason why my bed is sort of central in the room here is because obviously since I bought my big gaming setup, which is predominantly on this side of the room, so I have my sort of tech side of the room and then my sleeping side of the room over here. And then I just have my big giant glass mirrored doors, which make the room feel a lot more larger and just add a sense of space to the room, you might say. Uh, so over here we have my new 2021 poster, which is just a poodle poster. Obviously, I am obsessed with poodles since owning Scarlet. So when I saw this at Pet Barn, I had to pick it up. I think it was like $31, but worth every penny if you ask me. We just have the IKEA bamboo plant, which was featured in the last video. We also have the, uh, just a dog water bowl for obviously my two doggos. Miss Violet there and Miss Scarlet's over there. She's being freshly groomed. And then if we move over to this fish tank here, this is my sort of main fish tank in the room. As you can see, everything looks amazing inside the tank. I have added an extra light inside the tank and already I've noticed increased plant growth out the front here. And these plants already look greener too. They were like a sort of dying dark green color, but now they're lush and green. So I'm really happy about that. Money well spent on that light also. So today we will be feeding these Tetra Min Tropical pl uh, Flakes to my fish. Now, usually they get frozen bloodworms and stuff like that. They get a very mixed diet. So today we're just going to be feeding them something simple for the video. I just have to pop the lid open in order to get the food in just because I like to put it in the spray bar here so it spreads out over the tank so all the fish get it including the Corydoras catfish and I always like to overfeed just a little bit because after watching Aquarium Co-op I've learnt that overfeeding is actually probably better than underfeeding your aquarium because leftover food goes into the uh, substrate and then becomes actually plant fertilizer but seeing as how I already dose plant fertilizer, it's just an extra precaution, you might say, just to give my uh, plants that bit of extra boost. And then just below my fish tank here, I have a fake fern from Ikea. There's a lot of fake plants in my room because I can never keep live plants alive. I have my Eheim canister filter just at the back here. Then if we move over to the right here, there is my gaming setup, which I'm pretty certain I have done a video on this setup before. I'm not too certain though, it might have changed a bit. I might have upgraded some stuff. So here we just have a pothos plant. I really love these plants and they're extremely fast growing. So that's why I've decided to put one here because I've gone going for a sort of greener look in my bedroom since I've got the fish tanks. I just like the overall greenery. As you can see, there's plants there, plant there. Pothos is all over this wall here. I even have a pothos coming out of the plant here out of the plant, out of the fish tank, sorry. And then just behind the pothos on the desk here, I have my dog treats. <laughs> it's just in a Doritos salsa container, just to make sure no ants can get into it so it's nicely sealed. If we move over, you'll see my 15 inch MacBook Pro, 
No, sorry, 16 inch MacBook Pro, I'm pretty sure that one is. And then over here, we just have my magic mouse. I just have the black one to blend in with the overall setup of the desk and the aesthetic. I have a, another fake plant from Ikea. You'll see a lot of these around the room. And it just has some bird feathers and stuff in here from when my birds had molted. I like keeping their feathers just as memory of some birds that might have not made it for uh, for this long, which a lot of birds haven't. I'm pretty sure Ruby's feathers in here. A lot, a lot of people still ask about where Ruby is. She's at a sanctuary, if anyone's wondering. She didn't die or anything. She's completely healthy. And then here we just have my pens and pencils, scissors and stuff on my desk, accessories, etc. Over here we have my blue microphone, which I'm still actually yet to use it. The problem with me is, is I buy stuff, I plan to use it all, but I never get around to doing it. I have planning to do gaming streams and stuff like that, which is why I bought these two Elgato stream lights here. I have my stream deck here, so if I press either of those two buttons... I didn't get that. The... Could you try again? Oh, Siri. And then you can just switch it off by pressing those buttons too. So this stream deck is actually extremely I'm handy. I'm sure I understand. Oh, Siri. Later. If we just look down here, we just have my Logitech sort of setup here. We have my gaming mouse. We have the PowerPlay charging dock here. Well, dark charging dock, the charging mouse pad, which just charges the mouse here whenever it's on it. The G910 keyboard, which I still have yet to set up all the accessories here. We have my soundbar there, my Xbox One Elite controller, which I use whenever I game on my PC here. All my pop vinyls here. Now, I think since my video, I added a Steve Irwin one just because I made a trip to Australia Zoo. So I decided to pick that up for my collection. And then up on the wall here, we have Scarlet and her birth certificate there, a Zelda clock. And then my mum has started painting me these little photos that are going to be on my wall. Just little memorabilia and stuff for the background of my videos. We just come over here to my sort of TV unit fish tank stand. Now this guys, I don't think anyone has actually seen first on, just because I haven't done a video on it yet, but this is a new Neno Aquarium that I've recently purchased. I say recently, it's probably like three to four months ago. But as you can see, it just houses guppies and this beautiful fighter fish in here, a Dumbo ear fighter fish. This is becoming slowly one of my favorite aquariums just to watch, just because the guppies are so lively. Now for this feeding, I'll probably just feed them some tetracolor. They're just little granules. I usually break it up whenever I put it in there because they are still pretty big for a guppy's mouth. I usually feed a bit extra, not because there's any fish on the bottom here, but because the fighting fish here struggles to beat the guppies in. So I like to make sure he has a lot of options of food. He's munching on some bits that are on the floor there, but I absolutely love this aquarium. I've never really kept guppies in my past, but I absolutely love guppies. They're actually extremely live lively, fish. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is how plain the females are. As you can see, they're just a grey colour with a bright tail. Some even come with a dull tail, but the male up here is such a beautiful, vibrant colour. I forgot what it was. I think it was a leopard skin guppy that I paid for. I'm uncertain though, but it does look like it might be a leopard skin guppy. It was quite a lot of money actually for that little guy, but I thought because the females are so bland, I've got to get a nice looking male which we actually have some of their babies down in the red cherry shrimp tank down here. So this is just my overall gaming setup. We have my PS4 here with a fake plant from Kmart, my PS4 controllers, another fake plant, the games. Then down here, we just have Zelda, well, Link from the Zelda game Breath of the Wild. We have Violet here. <laughs> then underneath my desk, we have Violet's crate which she sleeps in because she's still not old enough to be left out of the crate unfortunately because Scarlet is still very rough with her so I'm gonna wait till she gets bigger hopefully she gets bigger we have my red cherry shrimp tape which usually will pop back over here I'll get the better food too but I usually feed them this it's an invertebrate pellet it's a very small 
extremely hard to open with one hand, but I'll do it. Don't know if you guys can see little babies in there. Also the first time anyone's seen the babies. I also need to do a video on that, but a lot of people aren't really liking the fish videos that I'm uploading, but at the end of the day, I'm really doing it for me. But I also want you guys to enjoy the content that I'm uploading which is why I am making these videos for you guys and for me, hopefully. Hopefully one day I can make a living off of YouTube. There is a baby guppy just there, trying to eat the pellets. I saw one just before it was somewhere. There it is, there it is. Now there was three in total in here of the guppies and then I had two of the sword tails. I don't know where the sword tails are. Oh yeah, there's a guppy at the back there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It keeps flittering behind the plant there. But the sword tails usually hang out in the back foresty bit there, but this tank is really set off. There's a lot of algae and moss growing on all the wood here. I don't know if you guys can see it. So there's a lot of fico matter and food for the new fish and shrimp to feed off of. So I have really made a nice little habitat here without even really trying. So this is probably definitely one, actually my number one favorite aquarium in my whole room. And judging by the video that I did previously, I think it was two videos ago, or even my last video, all my viewers love this fish tank the most compared to this one too. So we'll move on over to my fighter fish tank, which is the exact same size as this one. Pretty much the same plants too. Now I usually just feed him API better pellets. He absolutely loves these. Now I'll usually feed this every second day and then frozen bloodworm and brine shrimp every other day because I do like feeding them the frozen foods just because it does keep that lush color to all my fish as you can see every fish that we have looked at is very lush in color this one especially here I'll see if he'll go on his side probably not there we go Unfortunately, his fins were ripped up from this big rock here. I was thinking about rescaping this tank here, but I'm uncertain if I will, but he keeps grazing up against this big lava rock here and it's causing his fins to rip. So I might have to, but I really am enjoying this scape at the moment. It's so simple, but so beautiful at the same time. There's also algae growing off everything off the back here, off the uh, algae scraper here. So I'm just really enjoying the layout of the tank at the moment. So I'm hoping once the plants all grow up here, he won't really brush up against it, but I'm just waiting to see if that's going to happen. If not, I will have to rescape it and maybe replace it with the driftwood or something, or just completely plant it up and have no hardscape in there, but we'll see. Below here, we have my salt lamp, my PS3 controller and games. My PS3 is right here. Then we also have Zelda from Breath of the Wild down here. I'm collecting the figurines that they are releasing. This is the second one and the one over there was the first release. So I'm just waiting until they release the third one, which should be sometime this year actually. Then up here we have another fake plant. This one is from Kmart. We just have some crystals and stuff in this little ceramic bowl here, a little wombat that I got from the Mount Tambourine little walk of fame thing. I actually got this owl from my mum. She got it from a crystal shop down the road. We have a lamp there which is orange. So my main colours in the room are mainly blue in my gaming setup but I also have hints of orange just because this side of my room is pretty much all orange. So. And my favorite color is orange for people that don't know that. And then up here, we just have the Breath of the Wild sort of little cheat book that helps you through. It has little secret stuff in there. And then behind it, we have Skyrim, the Skyrim book. It's a collector's edition book. I actually do have the Elduin statue, which I might actually put up here now that I think of it. There's enough room for it to go and it is quite unique. So I might actually do that. And then on the side bit here, we just have all Scarlet's and Violet's leads and stuff. I actually think their leads are in the car, I'm not certain, but they should be hanging here. We have their toy box. And then over here, we have my ensuite. 
Very simple, not much happening in here. Once again, just another fake plant. Add some lush greenery in here. A zebra print painting, which I actually did that when I was, ooh, how long ago would that have been? Maybe like six years ago? Not much to see in there. We look over here. My mum actually painted this painting for me when I revamped up my room to do like a safari theme. So that is, I forgot what that sort of style of painting was called, but she is an artist. I will actually have her link down below. Down here, we just have some books that I'm starting to read. My New Year's resolution was to read more books. And I am very into politics. So I've got the new Barack Obama book, Promised Land. I've got Julie Gillard's book. Now, a lot of people wouldn't know who Julie Gillard is. She used to be the Australian Prime Minister, but she is no longer. And then just a fake plant there from Kmart, as I keep saying, fake plants everywhere. And my bed. This is just my dressing gown, which actually Scarlett sleeps on during the nighttime. My bedside table with a Amazon Echo. It's an Alexa. I got a little Zelda coaster there. I've got my AirPods Pro, my iPad, and once again, another fake plant. <laughs> and just here, we have Violet's little step up ladder onto my bed, because she definitely cannot jump up that high, being how small she is. Oh, look at her. <laughs> but what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Come on, come say hi. <gasps> come say hi. Yes. <laughs> But yes, yeah, Scarlett's actually a bit sick at the moment. She has a urinary tract infection. We had to take her to the vet the other day. Practically, she's been doing little peas around the house, and that wasn't normal because she has been toilet trained for quite a while now. So we then took her to get groomed, and the groomer said she was peeing throughout the whole groom. So after that, I booked her right in for a vet appointment, and we went. And yeah, it turned out she has a UTI, but she's on medication at the moment. She's getting treated for it. She's already starting to not pee around the house again. So it definitely is healing. Yes, it is. Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> she's so cute. Her and Violet get along so well. Well, guys, that's all for today's video. I do hope you did enjoy having a quick look around my room. I say quick, even though it's probably going to be like 10 to 15 minutes long, but I do hope you guys enjoyed how my room set up. I really love the layout that I have happening now. I love all the greenery that around my room. Yes, they are majority fake plants, but I just love it. It just adds a sense of a bit of nature into the bedroom, which is what I'm going for at the moment. I like the sort of naturalistic look. Especially with all the uh, fish tanks that I have around the room, it just also adds an extra element of nature and just, I love the fish and stuff. So I really am enjoying the layout of my room for this year. So as far as the announcement goes that I wanted to tell you guys, I am planning on starting a members only section on YouTube. Now for people who don't know what that is, it's basically where you pay a monthly subscription to my YouTube channel for extra content that the members only get to view. Now, I'm still deciding on what that extra content might be. Me personally, I'm subscribed to a couple YouTube uh, uh, a couple YouTube cha channels as members only, and their content they pretty much upload either every day or every three days. Just little content. Maybe they're feeding their fish tanks, maybe they're just doing a walk through of what they're doing that day. So it pretty much is just little extra content for people who want to see a closer look into my life. It, I might be feeding Scarlet or Violet, I might be dealing with the birds one day, cleaning out their cages, rearranging their toys. Stuff that I might not feel like uploading on my main YouTube part of the channel. But for my members only section, I would be uploading that sort of content. Now, me personally, that is probably what I will be doing. Maybe daily or every other day uploads. Pretty much just me feeding my animals, my dogs, little walkthroughs of what I'm doing that day. If I'm going out, I'll bring you guys along with me. So if you guys think you may be interested in that sort of content for a members only section, please leave a comment down below. I'm quite interested to hear what you guys want from me. And also it helps me boost obviously my YouTube videos and the content that I'm bringing out to you guys. I'll be able to do more test reviews on pet items and stuff. 
with the money that I'm earning from the members only section. That is if it does get a lot of traction, which I'm personally hoping it does, just so I can, you know, make my YouTube videos a bit better. I am currently saving up for a proper YouTube cam uh, camera. So if you guys wanna help me get there faster, feel free to become a member. I do hope to have it all set up by the end of next week. There will be an official announcement video for you guys. So you guys will be able to watch that video and learn how to join up and what I will be uploading and stuff. So make sure you are subscribed and have post notifications on for that video. If you do think that the members only section of my YouTube would be something you guys would be interested in, it'll only be a small fee depending on what I plan on uploading and how much I plan on uploading there. But I'm still figuring all that out, so I'm just looking at a couple other YouTube channels to see what they're doing. But apart from that, that pretty much ends this video for today. As I said, I know a lot of people don't really like watching room tour videos. Me personally, I love it. So I know there are other people out there that will love it too. So I made this video for you guys. Now, I hope you guys have a good weekend, a good day, wherever you are around the world, and stay tuned for my next YouTube video. Later.